Hi Sagittarius, welcome, welcome back. This is a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, you might find it resonates more though if this is your Moon or Rising sign. Okay, let's see. We have, I don't feel threatened by the karmic anymore. They are just playing their role. And this is really crazy because when I first started this channel, okay, let me refresh, go back. So I very recently did a reading looking into the karmic situation for those of you who are in a third party. And I put a poll up and said, let me know if you want this reading or not. And it was something like 60, 30 in favor of. Now, when I first started this channel, it would have been like 99% in favor of. And I was reading the comments and many of you were saying, um, I'm not too interested in these anymore because I don't, my, you know, my attention isn't going there. I don't really care. I'm not interested in the karmic. Um, you know, so um, that, that's incredible. I feel many of you will resonate with this message. So of course, of course, some of you are interested in what's going on with the karmic and that's absolutely fine. But it's just, um, it's it's an interesting shift I've noticed happening. Um, and for that to come out, it really at least resonates for what I'm, or with what I'm seeing, goodness. Okay, um, we have on the floor, I am considering moving on with a soulmate, but I really don't want to have to. Okay, so some of you could be in your own relationship here outside of this connection and um, you might be getting to a stage where you're saying my twin isn't my twin. Well, maybe it's a twin or my person here isn't doing anything. So I might, you know, maybe it's time for me to commit further to whoever I'm with or to someone else or maybe to open up to meeting um, someone else. Okay, let's get one more. Um, I'm hearing white roses. Also, there's a song coming through. What is it? It's, I don't know if it's like a, a nursery rhyme, a Christmas carol that someone has sampled in a song. It's like, da 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 What is it? These are a few of my favorite things. Rain, I don't know what the lyrics are. Something and... these are a few of my favorite things some it goes something like that if you know what that is let, let us let us know in the comments but it's not the original sort of whatever it is nursery rhyme song christmas carol it's it's the someone has sampled that and it's it's in a more modern song okay when you left me i felt like it was because you did not think i was good enough wow Okay, if so, I think your perspective on that is changing. There seems to be more of a sense of empowerment around you now. Good. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what's going on with your person on their side. Okay, we have sometimes I leave you so you can know that you will just be just fine without me. I mean, that's that's harsh. Um okay so yeah you're saying when you left i wondered maybe you were thinking i wasn't good enough your person saying i left so that you knew you would be fine that's really why would you do that um but that's what they're saying okay fine i won't i'm you know i'm not going to doubt that um maybe they didn't quite know that's what they were doing this could be something you know that your higher selves would were orchestrating to help you to grow both of you it just seems a strange thing to do in the 3d but let's see, let's see what else comes out. Or like a strange thing to consciously do, you know, I'm gonna just disappear and leave you so you can see how strong you are. It's like something from a, like a, a movie or something. Okay, you are the most beautiful creature I have ever seen. Beautiful, handsome, attractive, dynamic. <clears throat> Okay, and we have, I never loved them. It was just about the sex. I love you. So this, for some of you, there's definitely a third party energy here. And maybe you know this, maybe that's why you're saying, you know, I'm not really interested in your third party or the karmic because I know it's, it's kind of, it's not deep. It's not real. Um, it's not of interest to me. It's not threatening to me. So I see some growth here. I actually feel that you're both thinking about similar things, asking similar questions. Um, you may not realize this, but, but you see how you're syncing up here. Okay, so let's have a look. So messages please spirit from my viewer's person to my viewer. Oh, 
Oh, oh goodness. Okay. What is going on? Maybe they just have so many messages to share, they can't compose themselves. Okay, messages please. Let's see. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this is how they see you. Strong, independent, attractive, confident. Anything or anyone rather that is in your life, they are there because you have chosen. You, you don't have people around because you need them, because you depend on them. So if you choose someone, it's a really special thing is what your person is seeing the world yeah I, I feel you know you've completed some sort of cycle there's a leveling up there's a change in perspective it's like um there's less maybe self-doubt and it's not to say there's none but it, you maybe sorry you've had a, a specific i told you i get excited you've had a specific kind of um realization or there's an understanding about yourself or you've completed some sort of lesson or healed something there's been some kind of a closing out of something and something new has begun and i feel it's it's leading you to be in maybe higher energy overall here higher vibration we have judgment in the reverse if there's um, geographical distance between you and your person, I suppose it could also be um, distance in terms of no communication. I feel, I feel that they are trying to know what you're doing. They're trying to watch you, trying to gather information in any way they can. Yeah, seven of wands. Some of you, you know, there's, there's a blockage here. Maybe you've blocked them or they've blocked you, you know, literally, or maybe um, someone's not talking. Someone's someone's cautious someone is uncertain here someone's trying to protect their heart and it's like they've always got one foot in one foot out they've always got an escape plan and um it might seem logical to them it might seem rational particularly if they were hurt in the past but it does slow the progress here and um, it might be frustrating for the other person who most likely is you we have the six of coins in the in the reverse <clears throat> There's something here about repetition. I feel maybe at this stage you feel that cycles have been repeated with your person or um, you've, you've, you know, you've had the same conversations over and over. What was this? Um, page of Pentacles in the reverse. Page of Cups in the reverse. See, Page of Swords. This is someone, it seems to me, um, and this may be your reading if this is the case, this is someone who isn't speaking, but they are watching very closely. And if there is no way really for them to watch you, they are watching and waiting for an opportunity to watch you, if you see what I mean. Um, so let's say you have removed yourself from social media. They might keep searching for you to see if you've come back, that kind of a thing. Okay, so I'm seeing there's a decision they need to make. I'm really, I'm really loving your energy here. It's almost like you're saying, I have a lot of something to give, whether it's compassion, time, money, energy, attention, not just to this person, but everyone around me. It's like, you know, you're very, um, you're very valuable. And you're saying, well, just because I have this, whatever this is for you, doesn't mean I'm going to just you know throw it here there and everywhere and give it to everyone you're being very selective with your time with your attention um and i i just think that's a really nice energy it's almost like quality over quantity here so that's kind of what you're doing it seems like you're doing you obviously you're interested in your person and your connection but it's absolutely not stopping you from growing and if you're not in this energy yet it looks like you may well be stepping into this energy very soon um your person here does have a decision to make. They are on guard. They are defensive, yet they still want to know what you're doing. That might be annoying to you. I hmm, I don't know if I should say this. Well, I started, so I'll say it. I know that I have people who um, watch these videos, watch my channel um, from my personal life who, you know, do or don't communicate. Um, and sometimes, uh, I'm going to be honest, that does annoy me. It's like, I know where you work, but I don't, you know, turn up and creep around the windows just because I could. Um, so yeah, I feel there's some way in which this person is keeping an eye on you. You might be, maybe you like that. Maybe you like them watching. Maybe sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Um, but I feel they are trying to, to keep up with what you're doing. So, ooh, look, we have the Emperor and the Sun. So lots of strong fire energy. We've got Aries, we've got Leo. Oh my God, sorry, it scared the life out of me. Just as I was talking about creeping around the windows. <laughs> okay. 
Right, so let's see. What is this decision, please, spirit? Judgment in the... Oh, okay. I mean, it could be a decision. Do I communicate? Do I not communicate with the Page of Cups? Absolutely. Eight of Wands in reverse. So let's see. What are they wanting to communicate then if they were going to say something to you? Two of Swords reverse, Five of Cups. So they might say, look, let me speak plainly. You know, I know what's going on here. I know what I should have said or what I shouldn't have said. And I'm sorry basically. It looks like an apology. I miss you. Something quite simple, but very almost profound. It might be something you've never heard this person say before. It might be that they want to show you a vulnerability that they haven't shown before, but it's so difficult with this seven of wands because their heart chakra is very, um, you know, protected here. So tell me about this seven of wands, please. Yeah, look, I think they have suffered in the past. And this could be way back to, you know, their, their family is in childhood family and maybe, you know, the re relationships they have been in since have um, the same dynamic has played out. Um, but yeah, it's almost like every time they think this is it, I'm going to be very happy. They're disappointed. So they have become very guarded um, over the years here. Yeah, Nine of Swords in reverse, the star. This is the thing. Okay, your person's in this bind because, first of all, I just want to say, if this was any other connection, if you were anyone else, your person would never even be agonizing over or considering opening up in the way that they're considering. They they would say absolutely not, you know, and that would be that. They would walk away. No regrets. But the reason they're doing this with you is because we have the star, Aquarius energy. Um they know intuitively, their gut feeling says, this actually is the time that they can be very happy. You're very healing to them. This connection is very healing to them. They are always drawn back to you. It doesn't matter how, how much time has passed, weeks, months, however many years, even decades here, you know, it could be you knew each other at high school and 50 years later, you get back in touch. They have always thought of you, you know, again, it doesn't matter if you just met them last week. This person feels this is profound but they're so scared to trust that feeling this might be someone who likes things you know that are tangible um and it's not like they're working from a blank slate they've had these difficult past experiences so it feels even more maybe like the fall you know jumping into something without looking it feels even more scary for them and they're saying well if i don't open up i get to avoid all of this stress this worry this anxiety but then their heart their inner voice is saying but there, is, there will be no stress and anxiety, you know, because this is, this is good. This is, it feels right for you. This is where you're meant to be. And of course, you know, it's not to say you wouldn't both have obstacles, but um, nothing, you know, earth shattering, heartbreaking obstacles you work through together, you, you know, no sort of 10 of swords energy. Um, if this person can open up, can ease into this. And I'm sure both of you have had sort of obstacles to overcome and ways to grow. And, and it's almost like, the holding back has led to misunderstandings, suspicion, lack of trust, and it may even have created some, some past hurts and past pains within this connection. And there needs to just be a reset. And how that's going to happen is your person sending this down message and actually being a bit vulnerable with you. Because I, I feel the way you're showing up, it's like you've done all you can. You haven't abandoned them, you haven't left, but you're not continually saying, hey, 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 you know, because w why would you do that? That's not helping. Maybe at one point you tried that didn't work. So you're here for whenever they're ready. But um, yeah, I, I feel it's going to be on them to, you know, to show up differently here. Um, that's, that's kind of what needs to happen, really. So yeah, they're, they're, you know, half of their brain is saying do it, the other half is saying no, it's terrifying. But they can't, you know, they can't just walk away from this. Um, okay, let me have a look at this page of pentacles. We, yeah, this is it. See, in the past, they kept it fun. They made sure they had that escape um, exit, you know, ready for any time they needed. So they would come in when it suited them and they would leave just as quickly. They didn't even offer you, you know, this page of pentacles energy here. Um, that's That's got to change. They do know this. Let me see. So we know they miss you. What else are they thinking around this energy? So five of cups, please. <clears throat> yeah, the tower in reverse, Scorpio energy. So your person's saying, 
The tower isn't upright. I, I still feel that there's a connection here, but again, see how they know. If I don't show up differently the next time we speak, it may really be over for good. It's like they have the slimmest chance left to do something differently because you have shown them or told them or they're sensing in some way with the world that you were absolutely not prepared to go back around for another go at the same cycle that you have been in. Okay. So let's get some of these oracle messages. Um, I'm hearing Archangel um, Gabriel and Archangel Michael. It's coming across, coming through my head as Archangel Mabriel. <laughs> so Archangel Michael and Gabriel, maybe um, you've been working with those figures or they're saying we're here, we want to help. Okay. There's definitely a lot of passion within this connection. Okay. So first card out, we have twin flames, your passion ignites. So confirmation for some of you, as I said at the start, not everyone will resonate as being a twin flame, but um, you know, lots of you will, I'm sure. And my readings tend to tap into those sort of um, more sort of like higher vibrational, more transformative um, connections. You know, the ones that, that last rather than the, the sort of the crushes and that sort of thing. Um, okay. We have passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at, pre at present, enjoy it. You know, and I feel this is you, you are igniting a lot of passion in this person because you are, or there's at least an aspect to you or something you're giving off that's showing that you are confident, you have pride, not egotistical pride, but pride within yourself and, and what you're doing or how you are or your qualities, you know, whatever it is. Um, you have self-respect and it's radiating off of you. This is something they like very much. Okay, and the last card here says, wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. The wait, I feel, is this person saying, wait, please don't go, you know, the tower, it's not upright just yet. Maybe I can still, I can still save this. Maybe I can still show up and do something differently here. Okay. No other compares to you. I see a little part of you in everyone I meet. So I think unintentionally, this person finds themselves when they're interacting with people, being reminded of you in certain ways and also saying like, oh, this person's really boring. When I speak to, you know, you, um, I'm never this bored or you're so funny this person's not funny or oh I miss you know these conversations are boring I miss the conversations that we used to have if you have had conversations with this person look see I've thought about reaching out to you but then I stopped myself and this is not something they just have done and that's it this is something that's going on right now you know I feel every day this person's saying should I yes actually no 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 I won't should I? Yes. Maybe it's that sort of energy where they have a dream about you, they wake up and they're saying, yes, it feels right. I know it's right. I'm going to do it. But then, you know, they get dressed, they go to work, life starts happening. And then their ego mind says, don't be ridiculous. You know, um, you would have to say something much more profound than whatever you were planning, or you can't just reach out, you know, whatever it is, then maybe they talk themselves out of it or they lose their nerve. Okay, we have lying was just easier for me than telling you the truth. So perhaps they lied about their feelings here. We have, I, sh I should have been more honest with you about how I was feeling at the time. Yeah, exactly. And we have, I just knocked this um, off the deck accidentally. So perhaps Sagittarius energy, perhaps they lied um, or, you know, kept their feelings quiet in some way because they were trying to keep the peace. They didn't want to rock the boat, something like that. Or maybe they always felt they were, you know, I've got more time, I've got more time, I can do it later. I know I screwed things up and honestly have no idea how to fix it. Yeah, this is the thing. It's almost like they feel that, that saying I'm sorry, I miss you is not enough. But for you, it might be because they've never really said that before, you know, and you would know how much it, it, it took for them to be that vulnerable. So actually, that would be enough, at least to begin with, you know, to reconnect. 
we have on the back karma is a bitch i finally got mine so this is the energy you're not seeing this is happening behind the scenes your person is saying i'm you know i'm going through it right now and i know it must be linked to how i treated you so maybe someone's doing the same thing to them or maybe it's not related maybe it's something at work you know um maybe karma is playing out in that way that uh, who knows who knows what's going on but but yeah they feel they're getting payback because of something to do with this connection here and how they did or didn't show up okay so i also have um this was also gifted to me and there's a, a link below if you like this deck Okay, we have, please give me the space I need. I have to figure this out on my own so I can feel proud of myself. Yeah, it's almost like they know eventually they have to be the one to send that message and they will feel proud of themselves that they took that step. Um, this is a thing, this star card, this star energy, their intuition is saying, you know it's, it's going to be okay and you're going to feel good after you do it. The doubt, the seven of wands energy, you know, self-protection, that's your ego speaking, that's fear okay it says so this second one i'm so jealous no it says i'm so angry or jealous i can't see straight let me calm down before i'll reach out to you if i decide to i just can't believe you did that girl okay so this probably won't be for all of you um your person could be a bit jealous in general maybe they see other people around you they get panicked they get jealous um but this feels a bit specific maybe for some of you you sort of have moved on with someone um again that won't be for everyone um or they saw you flirting with someone and you know they need to calm down i don't know really but yeah you'll know that if that's for you because it seems like a reaction to a very specific thing I'm having commitment issues right now because I doubt my ability to make good choices and, I, and I'm afraid to go through yet another breakup. I have to learn to trust myself more. That's exactly it. You know, the breakups they've been through, 10 of cups reversed, but the star is saying trust yourself to make better decisions. I'm not taking all of those or all of those that's like a third of the deck spirit come on okay we'll take these I don't care what others think of us we are perfect for each other that's all that matters so this may have been something that concerned them in the past you know in my last reading I was speaking about all of the possible um, differences that could worry this person maybe different cultures religions age, um, ages um, you know maybe they 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 come across as very um, traditional or conventional and um, you're not you know lots of things maybe that worried them and now they're saying you know maybe those things don't matter so much because of how much I miss you and how much I still think about you and want to reach out to you I hope we'll be compatible doing certain adult activities because I really need someone open-minded. There are lots of things I'd like to do with you and I just hope you'll be receptive. Yeah, okay. Very interesting with that Knight of Wands energy. So in the past, or maybe even right now, if this person keeps showing up in a sexual energy, for them, it's more than just a fleeting thing that might be a very crucial way they express themselves maybe they feel a very special bond with you that they haven't felt with others in that way even if they have maybe you know you've never talked about this stuff they just kind of have this sense that they could really be themselves with you in this way that they haven't been able to with other people and that's very um, important to them okay good so i'm going to um move on to my handwritten channeled messages now after my last video i saw a few comments saying that these some of you find these cards confusing and contradictory or maybe even irrelevant or possibly triggering so this is just my heads up that i'm about to use them so if you want to um click away at this point please do okay so let's see Uh, we have signs are plaguing me yes I'm not surprised with that star card everything is pointing them back to you leading them back to you 
just want what I can't have. So they're saying the only thing that they want right now that is not available to them is you, you know, and it's kind of like, well, that's typical, isn't it? Um, thing is, you're probably, probably saying, well, I'm available, I'm here, you can reach out to me. Have you put a spell on me? Yeah. Um, it's not you, actually. I think it's the universe. It's spirit right now saying to this person, you don't, you're not going to get to walk away from this. You know, we're going to keep um, sending you signs, signals, um, synchronicities. We're going to keep reminding you um, of your person here, not you, as in they'll be reminded of you, the viewer. Um, because there's unfinished business. You've got to reach out. You want to reach out. You know, come on. So they're thinking about you so often, they're, they're saying, what is this? Have you put a spell on me? Not necessarily they think you've been doing magic, maybe, I don't know, but um, more to say, I literally cannot stop thinking about you. Oh, wow, I followed you, but you didn't realise. Um, yeah, <laughs> okay, so I do think some of them, they watch you, spy on you in any which way they can, maybe in ways that aren't really appropriate. Um, I don't see anything dangerous here. I'm not seeing the devil card show up or anything like that. But um, yeah, it could also be they followed you under a disguise. So um, getting an image in my head now of someone with glasses on and like a fake mustache. <laughs> what I meant is under a fake account or something like that. But um, I don't know, maybe they did put on a wig and follow you down the road. Okay, so yes, they're around. They are around and aware. Interestingly though, I think you know, you're aware that they're around. Okay. Not my type. You see, there's something about you that is not their usual type. And that is why Spirit is saying, yes, this is a good thing. This is a good person, you know, that you actually like, that you feel a deep soul connection with on many levels. Um, and that's why you can trust this connection, because this is not someone who is going to be selfish or cold or distant or just not a good match for you insecure yeah they're very insecure like i said about being open being honest exposing some more of their feelings here they could also feel insecure next to you who you know you're coming out in this nine of pentacles energy so like i said anyone who's in your world um is there because you have chosen them and they might be saying am i you know will you choose me am i good enough so there could be some intimidation there yeah we have you're in the spotlight so some of you um where's that card here i'm so angry or jealous this could just be because you are in the spotlight in one way or another and you interact with many people they see you being friendly with lots of people and um you know they do have some insecurities so it does make them a bit jealous and fearful that you might forget about them or um you might you know come across someone else who is sort of captivating they might also be saying they're jealous that other people get to talk to you so much and they, they're they not right now. But again, I feel they could if they wanted to, you know? There's something you don't know about me. So I will clarify that in a moment. And we have, I'm not ready. Yeah, well, spirit disagrees. Um, okay, so let's clarify what you don't know. We'll put this temperance card back in could be that if they're in um a long-term relationship you know where there's like marriage children that sort of thing it's not going very well at all that could be where the karma is playing out it could also be a work situation okay so spirit clarify there's something you don't know about me please what on earth okay four of cups in reverse high priestess so oh my goodness and there's the devil in reverse okay so we have um capricorn energy here so this person saying what you don't know about me is a, a, a couple of things one i'm much more spiritually awakened or um, open to these sorts of things than i was before because of this connection because of you also, I really truly understand how special this love is, this connection is. I haven't shown you, but I really feel that. With the devil in reverse, this connection has highlighted to them the ways in which they have acted in low vibrational ways in this connection and probably in, in many other areas of their life as well. Um, the devil's in reverse, so they, they want you to know that they're trying to actively change these habits, these behaviors. I really feel this person will eventually reach out because 
they want to and they're basically being pushed by themselves and the universe around them literally every day they're seeing stuff that reminds them or makes them want to um, and when they do i feel it's going to be different because they are really trying here so if you get something from them and it seems small um I would say that's still pretty good because it's almost like you might get a smaller message but it's a more authentic message you know and and you can build a much firmer foundation from that um so yeah so that's kind of what they want you to know i don't know if you maybe sense this or not already anyway okay so let's get some signifiers just some things about what's going on in this person's 3d life we have students so they could literally be studying and they could also be saying yes i'm 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 just learning things here through this connection, through you, about myself. We have lives alone. So you might know this, and they also might be saying with that 10 of pentacles in reverse, my living situation, my home situation is changing. I'm moving out, I'm living alone, or I will be very soon. We have financially comfortable, okay? So they could be saying they've had some success in work. Um, maybe work has been relevant in your connection or it's tied them somewhere you know maybe they haven't been able to to make moves here because they are comfortable and they're saying well if i do this i'm going to upset my stability my security we have early riser so this person um maybe sort of goes to bed earlier gets up earlier or they've just got a lot to do at this time so they want to make the most out of their days yeah rents a home underneath underneath lives alone so some of them are saying their home situation is definitely about to change or has changed see look married yeah so if you're for those of you who are saying yes my person is married it is a third party they're saying this is why this is the reason and this is so unsurprising isn't it um this is the most common reason that we see in these readings that someone stays in an unhappy situation because um you know of of finances of because of practicality um so yeah so that's some confirmation there that that's maybe the reason that they're still in this marriage especially if they've told you oh i'm unhappy i want to leave affluent goodness so if they're affluent they're saying financially comfortable i can see there's they're saying you know i, I really am i'm comfortable here in a practical sense it's difficult for me to make this change but i feel maybe it was head over heart before but now it's almost like their head is coming around to what their heart has known that they can have this comfortability either separately or with you and i think you've inspired them in some way i don't know if you have always been very financially comfortable in their eyes or you've come into maybe more money or something but they're saying well you can do it maybe i can do it and it's not in that way of um you know well if you can do it i can do it not like that they're, they're admiring you and saying okay you're giving me courage to to you know do this on my own to really um stand on my own two feet here Ah, and we have night owl yeah i get the feeling that this person has got a lot on their mind you know sleep is sleep and rest in general is something that might be hard to come by at this time okay so let's get some final messages here um i'm not sure if we'll need an extended reading yet i'll sit with this um and the energy of this reading after i've um you know after i've done this so if there is an extended i will put the link in the description box otherwise um you know if it's not there then there's no extended okay so we have peaceful charming ooh, mentally or emotionally unstable yeah so this person on the surface is coming across as charismatic charming very relaxed very peaceful but actually what's going on inside is a whole other story here We have a dreamer. Yeah, I think in the past this person hasn't been very accommodating to this side of themselves. I also think they have, um, maybe they put you in a box too early of you're a dream, you're a fantasy, it can never be anything else. And then they went down this other route that was in direct opposition to your connection. And now they're realizing, oh, that was a mistake maybe i should have worked harder to manifest this dream into reality and that's what they're wanting to do now and they're kind of saying well how do i backtrack how do i do a u-turn here we have gemini so someone here could be a gemini they could be you could be could be in your chart gemini you know throat chakra communication teaching also they're definitely learning from you we have loud 
Yeah, there's there's a side of this person that seems gregarious and, you know, the life of the party, but there's this really quiet and thoughtful side of them that's very private. It's almost like they feel if, if many people knew about this, there would be something embarrassing about that or it would ru ruin their image. We have lazy. That's interesting. I don't think they're lazy. They don't seem lazy. Maybe they like to have lazy days sometimes where they just daydream. We have empathetic and we have reserved yeah i just think there's an outside person and an inside person and we all have those sides but i think these are quite opposed and i think you've had a good glimpse into this person who is very empathetic um caring sensitive intuitive peaceful someone who likes to daydream and that scares them at times um so it might also been have been that when you have got this glimpse of them they have then suddenly pulled back and pushed you away because that they panicked. That's not a side of themselves they normally show. So I'm going to leave this here. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for being here. Um, like I said, the extended may or may not be in the description box. Um, but yeah, thank you for being here. Hopefully see you again soon. Um, and until then, take care. Bye.